Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. This is the Gibbs. I well I hope it's not too noisy. Uh just landed in Nigeria. Sorry for the tired face. I'm still at the airport and um I just want to make a quick video. Um now that I, I have time to just do it. Because I'm currently waiting for um my next uh, flight, local flight, so uh, that's why I'm still seated and not leaving the, the airport. Uh, anyways, um, this is December, festive period, of course. Um, it's not one of those um, returning or one of those travel you make just to come and uh, celebrate and start and um, enjoy yourself and all. No, this time around is different. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my dad and that's the reason why I'm in Nigeria at the moment, so I came for burial. Um, if not, nothing will have made me to be in Nigeria by now. Of course, I just left. If you've been following our channel, you understand that I just left. Uh, we just left Nigeria, and um, uh, then on no occasion or no account, ordinarily should I be coming back by now because there are a lot in place, you know, to do. There are a lot to accomplish. There are a lot to catch up with, you know, based on every circumstances. But now we duty call, and um, we have to. Uh, I came to the court. My dad passed away. Um, it wasn't expected. Nobody expected it. Nobody planned it. And that is life for you. Death is inevitable. Uh, the only prayer everyone prays is to live long and to live a fulfilled life as most important, a life that is pleasing to God. So, um, Eight hours, we have to, in everything, we also should thank God. So we have to thank God for the life he has lived. However, we have wished that uh, he lived more, uh, longer. We have wished that uh, um, he still here with us. And of course, Peter will still be alive. I won't be here, you know, in Nigeria at this moment. So that's why I'm here. And I'm here alone. I didn't travel with my wife and daughter. So I, I think it's enough traveling this year already. And um, so that's why I have to travel alone. Um, for the barrier, I think I'll just make one or two videos, you know, just a few clips. Uh, hopefully, I can, I'll be able to post it, you know. Um, just want to give him the final respect he deserves and um, as tradition demands. Then yeah. I'll be back to base. So, Basically, that is that, and that is the update I have for you guys. So, death, like I was saying, is inevitable, and um, I just need to let me buttress that point some more. That's why in this life, you just uh, live to please God. Um, you never can tell what happens tomorrow. Um, you might have your plan for tomorrow. I believe like my dad had and um, you plan everything even write it down have a vision like the saying go if, if Jesus comes or if Jesus tarries you know for some people Jesus might not tarry if Jesus does not come for us to take place it might be you living it might be that you fulfilled your 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 call it might be that you fulfill what you ought to do the truth is, no one can question God in some situation. Um, many have lost loved ones that they didn't plan that it's time for them to lose such person. But you see, what can one do? You can't question God. You can't tell God what to do. So it is just to be here with, uh, and um, find encouragement in God. So the thing is, everyone ought to be up and doing, living a life that is fulfilling, living a life that is worthy of me, living a life that God we uh, living a life that is pleasing to God that is the most important thing I would say because you never can tell what happens tomorrow uh, it can be some other person's turn you know, but our prayer holding on to the promise of God is that we will live long and live a fulfilled life and um, tragedies do happen it happens to several people, sometimes when it comes to your doorstep, that's when you, know, you tend to understand some things and what people are passing through. You know, like I said earlier, of all time, this is not a, a good season. 
you know, we just left Nigeria and a lot, a lot has happened you know, from Ukraine, you know, to Nigeria, Nigeria to Uganda and everything. So a lot has happened. So it's not a good season. So that's why I say it's not man that chooses. If man chooses, of course, I, I don't think uh, my dad would have even considered, you know, giving up at this particular moment. No. You know, he, would have, he has his plan. There are plans. We, we, of course, we spoke in, in August. We saw in August in Fort Traveling and all. It was fine. It was hell and hearty. Nobody expected that uh, there would be a ton of events. So uh, that is it. You out there live a life that is worthy of humility. You out there uh, stop bearing grudges. If you have anything against anybody, let it go for your own good. Maybe not for the person, but for your own good. Have a peace uh, uh, to enjoy peace of God, to enjoy peace of mind. You know that's what uh, anyone should do. Because this life, you never can tell what comes next. But in all, don't be afraid. It means it tells us not to be, not to be afraid. So it's not about fear. I'm not pushing fear. I'm not telling you to be, to be scared. Rather, I'm telling you to stay prepared. I'm also telling you to trust in the word of God, you know, for longevity. In all, let all glory be unto God. So, right. So guys, we just arrived at Anambra uh, Airport. It's the first time arriving in this airport because it's a new airport so they tried Outside of arrival, a number of airports. Big.